So you're ready to welcome a rescue dog into your life. That's awesome. Yeah, it's such a rewarding experience. But there are definitely some unique things to think about when you're adopting a dog with a bit of a mysterious past. Absolutely. And that's what we're diving into today with this article from onlinehunt.dkshe. Which, for anyone who doesn't know, is a super insightful Danish dog training website. And they get right to the heart of it, you know, calling out that every dog comes with their own, you know. Baggage. Well, they call it an unknown backpack. Ooh, I like that. Which I think is such a great way to put it. It is. Yeah. Because, you know, you see this adorable dog, but you don't really know what they're bringing with them. Exactly. Like their backpack could be full of memories from different homes, different people, maybe even some not so great situations. Yeah. Were they living in a busy city or out in the country? Do they have a family? Were they on their own? Right. We just don't always have those answers. And that lack of information can be really tricky, okay. right? Especially in those first few days and weeks when you're trying to figure each other out. It's so different from getting a puppy. Because you're not starting from scratch. Exactly. You're kind of jumping into chapter three of their life. They come with certain habits, learned behaviors, good and maybe not so good. It's like they've already got this whole history that's shaping how they see the world. And speaking of history and how they see the world, this article uses a really interesting term, uviden. Yeah, can you tell us a bit more about that? So basically, uviden means unknowing. But in this case, it's talking about a dog who might not have had the chance to learn basic social skills or experience everyday things because of their past. Oh, wow. So it's not their fault that they've never walked up a flight of stairs or been around kids before. Exactly. They're just uvidin. Right. Think of it like a person who's never seen a TV before. It's not that they're not smart, they just haven't had the exposure. They need a little extra time and patience to adjust. Which makes total sense. Yeah. So we've got this dog with their unknown backpack full of experiences we might not know about. And some of them might be a little uvidin about the world. Right. What's the most important thing for new adopters to remember as they're starting this journey? You know, it's funny because the article really emphasizes that love alone isn't enough. Yeah, and I know it sounds kind of strange, like, of course you're going to love this dog. But think about it from their perspective for a second. Okay. They've just been thrust into this totally new place, new people, new smells, probably a mix of excitement and anxiety. Oh, absolutely. Love is great, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't magically give them a rule book for this new home, you know? They need like a crash course in How to Dog 101, but tailored to your house. Exactly. And this is where the article is so spot on. It says, Det handler om at start help forfra. Which means? It means it's about starting all over again. But here's the thing. You're not starting from zero. Right, because they've already had some sort of life before this. Exactly. They come with their own set of learned behaviors, some good, some maybe not so good. It's all part of that backpack. So how do you balance that? Like wanting to start fresh, but knowing they're not a blank slate. Structure, my friend, structure. That's gonna be your saving grace. Think of it like raising a puppy, hmm? but maybe a puppy that already knows a few tricks. Some helpful, some maybe not so much. Okay. You're building on what's already there. So what are some ways to create that structure early on? You know, really start building that trust right away. Consistency is key, my friend, consistency. So think predictable routines for feeding, bathroom breaks, even playtime. Use the same commands every single time for things like sit, stay, come. This helps your dog understand what's expected of them. They thrive on predictability. Yeah, makes sense. Even for us humans, a predictable routine can really reduce anxiety. A hundred percent. It's not about being rigid. It's about creating that sense of safety and security. And when they start to get it, when they start to understand the rules of the game, that's when you really start to see that amazing bond blossom. Okay, so we're starting to get a handle on this unknown backpack thing. Hmm. And we're laying down the law with love, of course, but also with those clear boundaries and that all-important structure. Which is huge. But this article mentioned something that really resonated with me. They said successful adoption is a two-way street. It is. So what does that actually look like, you know, from the adopter's perspective? I think it's really easy to get caught up in the excitement of bringing a dog home. Like, you just want everything to be perfect, instant connection, pure happiness. Right, and those moments definitely happen. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But I think it's also about managing our own expectations a bit. So, like, remembering that it's not always going to be sunshine and tail wags. Exactly. It's about understanding that these dogs come with a history right? Like that unknown backpack we keep talking about. Yeah. They might have fears or anxieties that we don't know about right away. And it might take them longer to adjust than we expect. So patience is key. Even when things get a little tough. Big time. Patience, patience, patience. Yeah. 
If you can imagine yourself just plopped into a totally new home with a different family, different rules, different routines, it takes a minute to adjust. That's true. And dogs are no different. So be patient with them as they figure out their new normal. There might be accidents, misunderstandings, maybe even some backtracking as they settle in. And that's where really understanding that unknown backpack can make such a difference. Yeah, huge difference. Because if your dog is suddenly terrified of men with beards, for example, there's probably a reason for that. Right. It's not about judging their behavior. It's about trying to understand it. Maybe that loud vacuum cleaner reminds them of something from their past. This knowledge helps us approach their training and even just our everyday interactions with them with more empathy. Yeah, it's like what worked for your last dog might not work for this one yeah. because they have different needs, different triggers. Exactly. And that's more than okay. Don't be afraid to reach out for help if you're struggling. A trainer who specializes in rescue dogs can give you personalized guidance and help you build that strong, trusting bond. Yeah, good point. Asking for help is a sign of strength, for sure. A hundred percent. It's all part of setting yourself and your new dog up for success. That's great advice. So <laughs> as we wrap up here, any final words of wisdom for our listeners who are getting ready to welcome a rescue dog into their lives? Embrace the journey. Focus on building that bond. And never forget that every dog, no matter their past, deserves a loving forever home. You got this. Beautifully said. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into the world of dog adoption. And a huge thanks to our amazing expert. We'll catch you all in the next episode.